Einstein's theory of special relativity relies on two key insights. The first is that the laws of physics should be exactly the same in all inertial reference frames, that is, reference frames that are not accelerating, no matter how fast they're going. Additionally, no matter how fast these inertial reference frames are going, the speed of light will always appear to be C, that is, light will move with the speed C relative to every observer that's not accelerating. In this first example, we'll be looking at Galilean relativity, seeing how two soccer balls on a stationary frame when kicked towards either end at the same speed behave. It should be reasonably obvious that each ball will hit the end of the train at the same time, as they're both moving at the same speed and they're starting in the middle. Indeed, both soccer balls hit the end of the train at the same time, just as we expected. In this example, we were looking from the reference frame of the train itself, that is, the train wasn't moving. Now we're going to move to a different reference frame. In this reference frame, the train will be moving. It'll initially move forward for a certain period of time. The balls which are placed in the middle of the train will move with it, and then each ball will be kicked towards the end at the same speed, just like they were in the last example. However, this time, the initial velocity given to the balls by the train's motion will factor into how fast they move. What do we expect to see? balls hit both ends of the train at the same time again, just like in the first example. Ball moving in the forward directions moves faster, but the front of the train is also moving and moves away from it. These two effects completely nullify each other. Similarly, the ball moving back has an increase in velocity in the forward's direction, but the back of the train also has an increase in velocity in the forward's direction, and those two also cancel each other out. In this case, the event that happens simultaneously, the two balls hitting the ends of the carriage, was consistent in both frames, happened in the first frame and in the second frame. As we're about to see, that will not necessarily be the case when we deal with light or other objects moving at relativistic speeds. Now we're going to move into a situation where light is present. And so this first frame will be completely stationary from the train's perspective. The train isn't moving. The light will be turned on, will move out in both directions, one towards the back of the train, one towards the front of the train, and it will move at C in both directions because light always moves at C no matter what. Playing the animation, we see that the light hits both ends of the train at the same time. This makes sense. The light started from the middle, and moved at the same speed in both directions, and neither end of the train moved. So it was always guaranteed to hit both ends at the same time. However, we'll see in a second that this won't hold true when we move to a different frame. Now we're going to look at a frame where the train is moving. In this frame, the light's still going to be turned on from the middle of the train, it's still going to move in both directions with the speed c, because light always moves at the speed of light. However, the ends of the train are also going to be moving. This is going to affect the outcome. As we see, both bits of light have moved the same distance, given by the red arrows. However, the one going backwards has already hit the back of the train, because the back of the train was moving towards it. The front of the train is moving away from the light in a forwards direction, and so the light moving in the forwards direction still has a long way to go to hit that front of the train. What was simultaneous before is now no longer simultaneous, and the light has to move all of this way given by the green arrow to hit the front of the train. This is because moving to the second frame didn't alter the speed of light. In our first example with the soccer ball, the speeds were added as we changed frames, but the speed of light always being C, as Einstein postulated, gives rise to this effect where events that were simultaneous in one frame, the light hitting both ends of the train, are now no longer simultaneous. The light moving in the forwards direction has to travel further than the light moving in the backwards direction because the front of the train was moving away from it and its speeds weren't adjusted to counteract that. This effect is referred to as the simultaneity of relativity. One, because the effect derives from relativity. And two, because the statement that two events are simultaneous only makes sense relative to the frame that you're in, and they don't generalize across frames. 